I never want the tech to inhibit the music making. The, the technology, whatever the technology is, should simply enhance and support the music making process. Hi, I'm Jody Elf. Welcome to my studio space. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to work with many different television networks on live music broadcasts. My relationships with different artists have taken me to 47 countries around the world over the past 30 years. I've had a very fortunate experience in that I've been able to really see the world through my engagement with music and different artists. In the past 10 to 20 years, we've seen a whole new kind of media production emerging. People producing in smaller venues, on smaller budgets, with smaller crews, with smaller resources, but still expecting a very high quality end product. So today, I have a technician up at Mass Mocha with our control rack and a rack of preamps loaded with Focusrite gear. And I'm here in my studio in New Paltz, New York, which is about 100 miles away from where the event is happening. When that rack shows up on site, my technician, Sebastian, will connect it up to an internet connection and I'll be able to grab control over that rack from my studio here in New Paltz. We roll these racks in and with power and decent internet, we connect to a studio, make sure everything talks to each other and we're off to the races. One of the amazing things about working this way is that it allows me to be virtually in more locations in a shorter period of time. Now, I can send a rack one day to a location in New York City and a different rack to a location in Los Angeles and literally access both of them in the same day. And Focusrite gear has been central to the systems that we're now deploying in the world. We've been pushing the idea of remote mixing around for a long time. We reached out to our community of friends and, and audio professionals and eventually met up with the folks that have become Remote Production Group. Scott Peterson, Scoop Landon, and Greg Green, and John Harris and myself started putting our heads together to see how we could take this to the next step. We, over the last year, really decided to try it. How would we do it if we really wanted to get this on the ground. Six months later, COVID comes. So the idea went from a good idea to a pretty necessary good idea. We're working on some really exciting projects and designs that let us provide truly high quality broadcast services in, in a remote fashion. And we found that the Red 4 Pre, the 8 Pre, and the 16 line are Swiss Army knives that let us get into and out of any kind of sticky situation with, with grace. These are the central pieces to our infrastructure. We've created a system that helps producers imagine a new kind of workflow with fewer people on site in what would have required 10 years ago a studio or an on-site remote recording facility is now possible to be done over the internet in distanced locations. You basically have a full OB van functionality with an engineer or engineers that are in distinctly different geographic locations either you know across the country or across the globe this kind of technology has to be really ultra reliable sound great be portable modular fairly intuitive but 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 all as always it has to sound great and we're hoping to take the world and take the audio and broadcast audio world to a new and more convenient place Everything that we've done with Remote Production Group, John Harris and myself, years of investment in the po potential of this kind of connectivity is about serving our creative collaborators. Focusrite has been central to the systems that are now allowing us to do this in a really tangible and immediate way. The world of production is always shifting. It's always growing, adapting, embracing new technologies, and we want to be a part of the future of that change.